Hi everybody, good morning. Welcome to our craft for Sunday, November 29th. And today is the first day of Advent. So our craft today is we are going to be doing this um, wreath right here. And we're going to be uh, coloring them and then cutting out one of the candles. So I kind of got started on mine here. Uh, got the green colored. So what I'm gonna do right now is uh, color the other part. So what you need for this is you need your markers, your crayons, uh, you're going to need um, a glue stick and a scissors for at the end. So I already colored my wreath green. Now I'm going to work on my decorations. Um, so I'm going to color my bow red. Seems to me like a good color since red and green are your typical Christmas colors. So, I don't know if any of you guys have your Christmas trees up yet. I know a lot of people have already um, They've put, been putting up their Christmas lights and their Christmas trees and everything a little bit earlier this year. Um, we always get ours uh, the Saturday after Thanksgiving. So, as I'm recording this... We don't have our tree yet, but hopefully by the time you see this, we have our tree. So, so the Advent wreath, I don't know if you guys got a chance to um, pick up one of the take-home ones. Um, normally at Trinity, we have our Advent festival where we get to all come together and we do crafts. We have... Um, Christmas cookies and treats and stuff and then we make our advent wreath you know that's got the greens on it and then the tall candles and you kind of get to put the fun little decorations in it and um you know we're kind of used to tradition here and so it's kind of a bummer you know that we didn't get to do that this year but you know that's okay you kind of um make do as you go um so we did the uh, Advent wreath in a bag and I don't know if you guys I hope you had a chance to pick one of those up if you guys want to do one of those as a family or um, maybe uh, at home you can create one at home so we are coloring this here and <laughs> I'm doing all my decorations red but guess what like I say, with all your crafts, it's your crafts, so you guys can pick the color that you like. So, somebody's in the kitchen getting a snack. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here. So I'm gonna start by coloring the wreath, and then what we're going to do is um, we are going to get to the candles. And there's, uh, four candles on the wreath and you can color all your candles now if you want I'm gonna color here we go I'm coloring mine yellow just seems like a good color for a candle I don't know um, then what we're going to do is today we are going to um, add one of these candles to our wreath because it's the first Sunday of Advent and every Sunday uh, of Advent you add another candle. So, okay, I have done, finished my coloring. So there's my wreath and my candles and I'm going to color up, you can cut up Oops, you can cut out all your candles right now if you want. Um, I'm just going to cut out one right now. And maybe mom and dad can help you cut out your candle if you need a little help with that. But again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't even have to color around all the edges like this. You can just color out, cut out around and have it be a square or something. So then we are going to take the first candle 
Then we're going to glue it on the wreath. And I'm going to glue mine right down here. So easy way to do that is just to stick some glue right on the page. And then stick your candle right on it here. Here we go. There's today's. Oh, there we go. And let's just do this here. <laughs> you guys have favorite Christmas movies that you guys like to watch? One of my favorites is Elf. Who likes Elf? Elf is so funny. He's very funny. Charlie Brown Christmas is also another favorite. And some of my favorite classics that I'm telling you, they've been around since I was little, so you know they're old, right? Are Rudolph, the Red Nosed Reindeer, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, Frosty the Snowman. They're so old now, they're classics, right? And you can make this prettier if you will by cutting closer around the edge of the wreath. I'm just kind of going quickly here for time's sake. And so today we glue on the first candle. Next Sunday you glue on the second candle. Like a good spot there. So next Sunday you will have candle number two, and then the Sunday after that you will glue on the next candle. You'll have candle number three, and then the Sunday before Christmas, the last Sunday in Advent, you add that final candle. So and then you will have your wreath. There you go. So that is our craft for today. Um, thank you so much for joining me, you guys. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye.